Here are some very cool IVs. And I'm saying that they're cool because they're blood controlled, opposed to not being blood controlled. So see how this one says blood control and then this one doesn't, it's just a regular catheter. Blood control means that once you poke the patient and you get a blood flash, the flash comes there and then you could just press this button and it retracts the needle into a tube so that you don't poke yourself. And then when you retract the needle, you don't have to press down on the catheter to hold the blood from overflowing through this to put the hub in. You just literally take the needle out and then the blood doesn't squirt out. It just holds there until you're ready to put the hub on. So it's cool. It's less messy. It gives you time to like reach for things if you don't have it or whatever situation you're in. But I've got I've gotten mixed up a few times because I just grabbed my I just like no pink is 20 gauge. So I'll grab something and then I've had a few times where um, I had a little mess because I had used the one that's not blood control and it'll just literally squirt out. I got so used to using these that I forgot that we have the ones that aren't blood control. And you can tell the difference because these stripe lines, so the stripe lines where the dotted lines are the ones that are blood control, blood control. And the ones that are the solid line are not blood control. So just remember the ones that are solid line you have to hold down. I got so, I, I learned on the ones that don't have the blood guard, but the blood guard is so convenient and whoever invented it kudos to you hope you're making a lot of money because um it's very helpful thank you thank you thank you and hopefully i remember to hold it down with the solid ones now because <laughs> they're not fun and they look exactly the same if you flip them over they look exactly the same it's just whatever thing that they have in here is um what stops the blood from just coming out <laughs>